Hello children, how are you all? I hope you all are fine. Welcome to Advocate Bapusa Bhumbi High School Digital Class. Now tell me children, what can you see in this picture? Yes, this is Aladdin and the Ghoul. You must have read in many story books and also seen the movie of Aladdin. As Aladdin had a lamp and when he used to rub the lamp with his hands, a ghost used to come out of the lamp and he used to listen everything to his master as he was a very good ghost. So today also we are going to read about a story of a ghost and a fisherman from the rapid reader book from page number 43. So let's read and understand what is the story about. First we will read out the sight words of this story. Chapter number 16 The Fisherman and the Ghost You two have to repeat after me. G H O S T ghost S C A S H O R E seashore G L A double S glass B O double T L E bottle L Y I N G lying S M O K E smoke H U G E huge F I G U R E figure D R I G H T bright I D E A idea M A double N E R manner B E L R E V E believe P O double S I B L E possible P R O U D L Y proudly B U R I D buried. So let's read it again. Ghost, seashore, glass, bottle, lying, smoke, huge, figure, bright, idea, manner, belief, possible, proudly, and buried. So now we'll read the story and understand what is the story about. You two have to repeat after me. Once a fisherman who lived near a seashore went out for fishing. On the seashore he saw a dark brown glass bottle lying on a sand hill. So children there was a fisherman who lived near a seashore. The seashore means the land near the sea. Now he went out for fishing one day and when he was on the seashore, he saw a dark brown glass bottle lying on the sand hill. Now sand hill is a hill made of sand. Now let's read further. The fisherman wanted to know what was in the glass bottle. So he picked it up and took off, and took off the cap of the bottle. Slowly smoke began to come out of the bottle and took the shape of a huge ghost-like figure. So children, as soon as he saw the glass bottle on the seashore, what he did? He picked it up and took off the cap of the bottle or removed the cap of the bottle. And what happened next? As he opened the cap of the bottle, a smoke-like figure, figure, smoke -like figure came out of the bottle and took a shape of ghost ghost. At first the fisherman was very scared. So let's read further. At first the fisherman got very scared. He threw the bottle at once back on the sand. So when he saw the ghost coming out of the uh, bottle, he was very scared. He got very afraid. And what he did? He threw the bottle at once back on the sand hill. Now let's read further. He was About to run when a voice roared and said, I am hungry. I want to eat you. The fisherman stood still. He thought for a moment. So, as soon as he threw the bottle and was about to run, a, a big voice, a loud voice came out. And what he said? I am hungry. I want to eat you. So he said he wanted to eat the fisherman. Now, now the fisherman was stood still. As he was afraid, he stood on the in the same place and he thought for a moment. Now let's read further what happened. Though the fisherman was very scared, he did not want to show it. He suddenly got a bright idea. He said to the ghost in a cool manner, My dear friend, where have you come from? The ghost replied, I came from the glass bottle which is lying on the sand. So children, the fisherman was scared but he did not want to show the ghost that he was scared. So 
So what he did, he got a bright idea and he will manoeuvre in a good voice without hesitating, without being scared. What he did, he asked the ghost that, my dear friend, where have you come from? So what the ghost replied, that he came from the glass bottle which was lying on the sand. So you can see here, there's a seashore and the fisherman and his beer is a bottle, glass bottle lying on the sand hill. As soon as the fisherman opened the cap of the bottle, a smoke came out and became a ghost-like figure. And as soon as he saw, the fisherman was scared, but he stood still and he was not afraid because he wanted to show, he did not want to show that he was afraid. And what did he did? The, fish, the ghost roared loudly. And what he said? So here you can see, I want to eat you. So the fisherman did not make a noise. He stood still and then after some time he got an idea. And what he did? He coolly asked the, fisher, the ghost that where he had come from. So the ghost replied that he had come from the glass bottle which was lying on the sand hill. Now let's read further what happened. Oh, I cannot believe that. How can one like you fit in this small bottle? It is not possible, said the fisherman. I sh shall show you, said the ghost proudly. So what happened? Using a trick, what he did? The fisherman asked, I don't believe you that you, a, a large figure like you, a large person like you can fit in a small bottle like this. It is not possible. So, the ghost also proudly said, I will show you. Soon he turned into smoke again. The smoke slowly went into the bottle. The fisherman quickly closed the glass bottle with his cap. He dug a deep hole in the sand and buried the glass bottle. Then with a big sign of relief, the fisherman walked home. So children, when the ghost proudly said that I will show you what he did, he turned into smoke again and slowly he went into the bottle. And as soon as the he went in the bottle, the fisherman quickly closed the cap of the glass bottle. And what he did next? He dug a hole, a deep hole in the sand and buried the glass bottle. Buried means he put the glass bottle deep into the sand and again he closed the top of the hole with the sand and with a big sign of relief. But he now was relieved that he, he had got rid of the ghost. He went back home. So I hope you must have understood this story very well and also enjoyed it. Now let's Read some question answers of this story. Here you can see there is a fisherman who is telling the ghost that I don't believe you that as you, you, you can fit a, a large figure like you can fit in this bottle. So the ghost proudly tell, told that he will show you show him that how he can fit. So he went again inside this bottle. As soon as this he went into the bottle, the fisherman closed the lid of the bottle. You can see here. And what he did next? He dug a hole in the sand and buried deep into the sand. And with a big and a big sign of relief he went home again. Now let's see some question answers of this story. This is the first question. Where did the fisherman live? Yes, the fisherman lived near a seashore. Now what is the second question? What did he find one day? He found a dark glass bottle lying on a sand hill one day. Now what is the third question children? What did the fisherman do? The fisherman picked the bottle and took off the cap of the bottle. Now what is the fourth question children? What happened when the fisherman took off the cap? 
the answer is when the fisherman took off the cap of the bottle slowly smoke began to come out of the bottle and took the shape of a huge ghost figure now this is the fifth question what did the fisherman do when he saw the ghost what is the answer for it at first the fisherman got very scared he threw the bottle and was about to run now we will see the sixth question what did the ghost roar and say the ghost roared and said i am hungry i want to eat you and what was the last question what did the fisherman do when the ghost went into the bottle what did your children the fisherman quickly closed the bottle with its cap he dug a deep hole in the sand and buried the glass bottle so i hope you must have understood this question answers also so children you have to practice reading at home with proper pronunciation and punctuation so bye till now meet you in the next class don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel for further notification thank you